Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back. Michael McGruder and Seth Boyer are joining us this morning to talk about Once in a While, and it opens tonight at the Apollo Theater. How exciting. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, Michael, tell us a little bit about Once in a While, romantic comedy. Uh, yeah, basically, uh, it has uh, multiple storylines running simultaneously, uh, a lot of laughs, very fast-paced action, and uh, I think a, a great, great movie to take your date out to. Yeah, with all those interacting scenes simultaneously, how do you keep track of it all? <laughs> oh, uh, a lot of organization, a lot of preparation. It's uh, uh, very exhausting, but very fun. Oh, yeah, certainly. And producing and directing at the Apollo Theater, an iconic theater in the River City, oh, that's yeah. got to be a great feeling. Oh, yeah, yeah. When, when we saw the building, it was a blast. You know, just so much history there. You know, we loved, you know, we just, yeah, just love working in there. Very exciting time. And Seth, tell us a little bit about your character, Kyle, and kind of what you had to do to take part in that role. Yeah, so my character, Kyle, um, he's definitely the one that has his head on straight the most out of all of them, <laughs> which isn't saying much, but not saying much. But yeah, I mean, we just pretty much follow the storyline between my character and my fiance and all the problems and the ups and downs with that, so. How have you kept track of all the scenes barely I'm <laughs> but yeah no uh you know just uh every single night we have rehearsal and uh just that and then on my own time going over it as well just a lot of rigorous rigorous stuff to kind of go through so yeah you're saying that you've been acting for a couple of years now yeah what was the most challenging part of learning this play um i just say uh this is definitely the one uh one of the most important roles i've had as far as as many lines lots of lines to go over and just to remember, so that's probably the most challenging part, just to get all the lines down into a T. So. I know everyone kind of directs and rehearses differently. So yeah. did you do it start to finish, backward to forward? Oh, oh there was no way we could <laughs> do a start to finish with all this. So we kind of grouped uh, each actor. Luckily, there's like four intersecting storylines. So okay. we, we kind of uh, put each one in the groups, and then at the end of the week, we would all put it together, you know, and coordinate it. It's very much like, chore it's like choreography in theater, but with acting. Very awesome. Yeah. Now, with it being a romantic comedy, is it something for kids, or should this be uh, a date night kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, this is more of a date night kind okay. of thing. Uh, you know, get a babysitter for the kids and uh, have some fun, you know, for the couples, but I, uh, singles would love it, too. Okay. And you mentioned there's about a, a dozen people uh, yes. in this cast. How has everyone kind of come together throughout this time rehearsing? I, I think really well. You know, yeah. I think we, we've all become fast friends, and uh, yeah, I think our, our, our friendships will last well beyond the show. We're yeah, very we're close now. Yeah, people so. from Peoria to Iowa, from all oh, around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. We, yeah, it's it's a really close knit family now. That is so awesome. Well, you can see Once in a While starting tonight at the Apollo Theater. Uh, play starts at 7 p.m. Tickets are twenty dollars for adults and ten dollars for students. And you can head to Once in a While the Play dot com for more information. Of course, with it being a little bit rainy this weekend too, and the iconic Apollo Theater, everyone's going to want to come in. Oh, exactly. Of course, yeah. yeah, get a little. Few good laughs in there. Oh, the place should sure. be. <laughs> yeah. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank Joe, you. we're going to send it over to you for another check of that rainy forecast.